Uh, g'day, guys. Uh, if you're going to get a um, motor position flap fault on these Audis, um, even though they've added injectors, the bottom of the swell flaps get gunked up and begin to jam. But in the case of this car, uh, you replace the manifold. So I've actually checked if this has some sort of vacuum issue, like the vacuum's not holding, like a torn diaphragm or something, but um, uh, it, it was holding vacuum. So this is simply a Hall Effect sensor. That's right next to your oil filter. And considering the sort of job it is on these front wheel drive Audis, um, uh, I would recommend replacing the intake manifold uh, or you can try and clean it. Uh, on this vehicle, the main issue you're gonna have is with the mount for the manifold. So uh, we worked from under the vehicle um, with the double, double torques uh, and all sorts of extensions to get it there and crack it with a 17. So that's the one going on the block for this alloy mount here. Um, that's the main sort of thing you're gonna get and also tightening the fuel line correctly and um, uh, with a very short 17 and stuff like that. I removed the, the oil filter as well um, and just watch that this corner, like on the other versions of the engine, um, touches the cam sensor. So there's a cam sensor up here and you will find that you will rip the connector off the cam sensor if you don't uh, be careful with the manifold. So that will be number four, cylinder number four. Um, yeah, cylinder number four will not clear the cam sensor that's sort of under the head. So just be aware of that. And uh, yeah, um, I recommend replacing the intake manifold. You don't need to remove the alternator, uh, but you can if you want. It, you can remove the alternator to gain access to the bolt under the manifold. I don't, but um, yeah. And you'll also obviously need to transfer your port injectors over onto your new manifold, the throttle body, but it does come with the solenoid and the, and the map sensor. So um, you have to transfer those things over. Um, and you don't need to lose any coolant. You just loosen as many things as you can to get this manifold out. Obviously this has to come out too. But uh, yeah, just a tech tip. If you're gonna um, get that code and you've got time, you might wanna try and clean the manifold, but do have caution that you've got full vacuum and the vacuum's holding on the diaphragm to trigger the uh, swell flaps. Hope that helps, bye.